uh, live hustle. Thank you so much. Yeah. See you back when you keep your mate. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe to Russell's Fishing Channel. It is well worth the gigawatts. Thank you. Just pulling all this fat out, and that's just gonna help with the flavoring when we cook that. So, this is the end result. Um, gonna have a try now, see how it goes. Please don't criticize me too much, it was a throw together. So, um, yeah, so I come from Brisbane City, I've been there, born and bred in Brisbane myself, and um. You know, I was just, I was pretty bored in Brisbane one day and I was just looking around at like, you know, what, what could I do for fun around in Brisbane? And I was just looking at some local people fishing down at the Brisbane Story Bridge, underneath the Story Bridge and the, in the waterways down there. And I thought, oh, you know, maybe I could like, you know, do some fishing or like catch crabs or something. And um, that's when I came into Russell's YouTube channel. And yeah, I just, I've become a fan ever since. I've watched all his videos. I've seen his regular updates, um, cooking inspiration. So I go to local fisheries and get myself, um, you know, a fresh crab. Usually it comes from like Port Douglas or Cairns. And um, I just, um, I messaged Russell one day thinking, oh, you know, what the hell? Maybe I'll get a response, maybe not. He's, he seems like he's a bit, bit uh, above my pay grade. And um, yes, turns out he did reply to me and he, his best advice for catching uh, good quality crabs was he just said, come to Cairns. I messaged Russell and I said, hey, what the hell? Guess what, I'm coming to Cairns this weekend. You know, return flights were $161, thanks to Jetstar. And um, yes, here I am. All right, well, let's go and set these pots. I believe I'm actually here on Russell's boat. I'm and he's also including me in the YouTube videos. Oh my God, this is the best day ever. Thank you so much, Russell. I have no idea. Boating but let's drinks. go and get these pots in the water. Yeah, let's do it. What's your drink? Yeah, you, can let go of this, you can let go of the throttle now and just drive it. Bait the first pot up now, I'll show you how to do it. Yep, where do you buy these from? Boating, camping, fishing? Yeah, BCF? yeah, pretty much. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can, go, you can get a lot of fun things from there, hey. And then. That ain't living, Barry. This is living. Uh, oh, yes. Turn it upside down yeah. this way. Do we need to put that little hook thing in? We open that up. Yeah. The bait goes in there. Okay, so we just grab this pot. And does anyone live in these like little forests? Yeah, crabs. Just crabs. You can go right there. That's and it. And how many how many of these pots are there to throw in? We allowed four per person. Okay. Four per person. Yeah. And how, how often are you allowed to throw a crab? But in? the thing is like four per person like once a year or no, you can do as many times as you like, but we've only got seven pots today, we don't have eight. So okay. we're actually one pot light. Also, Russell, where do I go to the toilet out here? I need to go to the toilet. Over the back of the boat. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Would that be a problem? No, I might have to just go for a swim somewhere. I guess might be a one-way swim. I guess we, we mean. <laughs> one-way swim, excuse me. Alright, just up here we're going to drop it in again. I'm gonna get you to lift that pot up shortly. There'll be a branch over a creek. And just, see that branch right in front of you? No, yep. look in front of the boat. Yep. Drop it underneath that. Well, I'll okay. drop it for you if you like. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
And that's it. And your motor's not gonna get stuck on that at all? Nope, because I'm going backwards. Oh, you can go reverse and split, nice. Can you get the ball out? Yeah. Oh, there's the ball. Yeah. So get all that rope out. All the rope? Yeah. Oh, I think I'm a natural. I do too. Um, and then you could hook it up again. What up again? Or have you already done it? The hook. Oh, you've already done it. Yeah, I've done the hook. Where are we throwing this one yet? Uh, just up here. Okay. Yeah? Get ready to throw it in. Just throw it in there now. Yeah. Right now? Yeah, go on. Well done. Ooh. Oh, what's up that little bike? Um, it's like big, yeah, let me do it for you. These, yeah. Okay. Leave let's, just, let's just put these here. What, what are you doing? This is, um, I thought you were Huh? This was caught in the, um, in the propeller. This is the best day of my life, Russell. Thank you so much. Woo, where are we going to put the last one in? Alright, so we've thrown all the pots in. They're all gone. All six, eight of them. There's a few. But um, yeah, we're going to come back in the morning at about the break of dawn and um, see how many mud crabs we get out of them. They're really good quality ones. And um, yeah, please, everyone, it's so worth your while to subscribe and follow Russell's fishing channel. So we've just come out this morning. I've got Lindley with me in the boat, Haley's mum. And we're checking our first pot. Hang on, wait. Just drop it, drop it back down again. Right in the water, all of it? Yeah, because of the mud. Okay. Huh? The one that you thought was going to be all right. Yeah, I let him go. We just found one of our pots and the whole float is submerged. There's a big current happening so that's probably the reason we're going to try and get it up. I, I knew I had one in front of this creek. Blow it. Got it. Good on you. 
That's the way. You're doing good. There's never any rush. Good on, good on you. How big's a cod? How big's a cod? He's got to be more than 380. Should we just let him go? Give us a look at him. Yeah, he'd be right on the borderline for 380. We'll let him go. See you, Cod. Right down here. We just pulled up our last pot. We've got a good buck over here. We'll get we'll get him out and measure him. We've got three in here actually. So someone has asked, well a few people have written in and asking to show them how to tie crabs. So we'll tie this one up in the video. We tie them all up, but we'll try and make a bit of a demonstration for you. For the people interested in um, wanting to know how to tie crabs. I'll get him out now. Watching that, sorry. Yeah. So we've got a one nipper crab here. And um, he's legal. So we've got two crabs. Um, we won't tie this one up, we'll just throw him on ice. But we will tie this big one here up. But we'll get him on ice first. Once again, easily 150, and the best way to tie these for those who don't know is probably put them on ice for a little while, it slows them down and it makes it a lot easier. So I'll throw this bloke on ice because he's quite lively, and then we'll tie him up. He only needs 5 10, 10 minutes. So I've just got home, washed the boat, flushed the motor, and um, I'm now cleaning the boat out. Here's the crabs, they've been on ice for a while. It's quieting down a lot. And I'll tie him up shortly. Normally I don't do it this way, but um, as a demonstration for people that want to see, putting my ice first will just slow him down and then uh, makes it a bit easier to detail how I tie. There's other ways of tying crabs, but I only know one. So I'm only gonna show the one I know. Hmm. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've seen you guys. Uh, we've had a few people message in and they wanna learn how to tie a crab. There's a few different ways I've seen people do it, but this is just how we do it. Um, so this isn't exactly how it's, you have to do it, but this is how we do it. Um, so you want a piece of string about this long and you want to, they're, they're, these crabs have been on ice so they're a little bit sleepy, um, just to make it easier to show you how to do this video otherwise they'll be running around crazy. Um, so what you want to do is go around the back legs, so you want to pop your string under your back legs and make that even and then you're going to bring your nipper in and then there's a groove here from where the claws are and you're going to pop the string around there and go back under the legs like so and 
I'm just trying to do this slow so you guys can see. Like that. And then you're gonna pop your foot on there just to hold that string tight. So you're gonna do the same thing with the other nipper. Ow. Pull it in. Go underneath. And you wanna make sure you get in that groove so the string can't move. You're gonna pull that tight. And then you're just gonna do a granny knot. So, you're just gonna do a very simple granny knot like that. Just remember, this is gonna be much harder when the <laughs> crabs are not asleep. And then that's your crab. And at the front. So this is where you want the string to sit in between these two grooves. Because otherwise, if it's up here, it's just gonna slip back and then your crabs, the claw is not gonna stay tight in there. So that's pretty much it. We are going to do a cooking video for you. So we've got four crabs. We're gonna cook it two ways. We're just going to boil two with salt. Ideally, you'd like to use salt straight out of, sorry, you'd like to use water straight out of the river, um, like your salt water, but we don't have that right now. So we've just boiled up some water and put salt in it to boil our two crabs. The next way, I don't really know what we're doing. We're just, winging it um, we have some lemongrass from the garden and we've had to buy the other herbs because they've died uh, we've got some basil some coriander and dill I don't know if I'm gonna use these yet I'll just see how we go but I'm definitely gonna use the lemongrass and the basil um, in here I've just cut chopped up a couple of cloves of garlic and a whole onion and I've just put some chili flakes in there as well so I think what I'm gonna do is pop this in the onion garlic chili um, with some oil and then I might put some chicken stock in it um, I'll let that simmer and then I'm going to put the lemongrass down on the bottom of the pot and then put the cream in let that simmer and then put the crabs in and then the beer i think that's what we did yeah something like that i don't really know yet i'm just winging it so if you want to see how that turns out then keep watching You know, what I'm really not good at doing mm -hmm. is cutting onions. Like I'm really bad at it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I'm so bad at it. I just find it really difficult to cut onions. Cool. All right, so this guy's been put to sleep. Um, what you're gonna do is pull this flat back and then you're going to turn them over. You're going to put your thumb underneath the shell where this back leg is and you are going to pull that up. So, I've got a bowl here we're dis disposing of. Someone told me a good way how to do this and I can't remember. He said something about starting from the front and working back. It was probably your dad. No, it wasn't, it was someone in the video. I can't remember who it was. A subscriber? Yeah. Oh. Like sometimes I can get it really good. Just putting it out there, we are not professionals. <laughs> we are just a dad and a daughter that likes crabbing. Perfect. Cool. Oh, that broke easy. Yeah. 
Well, I'm just going to leave that like that because he's got no front nipper. So that's good. Um, I'm just going to chop this. I don't know if you can see that. Just chop this front bit. Doing it as clean as possible because my mum's here and she'll yell at me. <laughs> Do you need something? Oh, can you get me something, please? Can you get the mallet? Because my hands are dirty. I have a new toy. <laughs> I always used to crack the shells with the back of the knife and I found a meat mallet works so much better. <laughs> so you're just going to crack it so all the juices can get in there. Uh, and I'm crack him on this side too. There we go. So we've cracked him. Might just give it a little. Chuck that straight in there. Hang on. There. Wrong bowl. That's it. And then we're going to do the second one. Same okay. process. I normally pull the fat out of this. Yeah, you got to pull the fat out. Fat's important. Alright. Being a little bit black here and pulling out the fat. <laughs> It just helps with the flavor, all the juices. It's my favorite part. See, you gotta get all that good stuff. Yum. Cool, same process. Gonna pull the flat back. Oh, got yuckies on me. Just pull it over, turn it over. Put your thumb under. And we're gonna pull that. Oh, yum, look at the fat on that one. So, like I did before, I'll try and do it so you can see it. Just pulling all this fat out. And that's just going to help with the flavouring when we cook that. Very important. Okay. Oh, this one's nearly chopped in half already. Mm hmm. Oh, just all the fat in this one. Look at it. Yum. Get off. Get out. What's that? I think we've got everything. Mm -hmm. That's chopped in half. Where's my knife? Just gonna cut that one, make the pieces a little bit more manageable. In there. Do you go that way? Sorry? I think it's easier this way. All good? All good. I'm just going to quickly clean this up before mum bear gets grumpy. Okay. Cool. First crab's done. We're going to pull him straight out. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. Mom. I might have some trouble getting this out. Mommy. 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 
Yum. Can I go see mum? Hmm? Why does orange? Because it goes orange when it's cooked. That looks good. Yeah. We're going to put the next one in. Hey? That's one that's orange. Yeah, he's not orange yet, but he's going to turn orange once he goes in the pot. He's that big, he hardly fits in the pot. He is a big crab, isn't he? <laughs> is he going to fit in there? <laughs> you should ask someone, I need to put some more. Oh, that you might want to put the lid on top of it so the balls quickly. Yeah. At least he's, if he's tight enough, Haley, he might not be able to throw a nipper. I'm so excited. So excited. Okay, well, we might start, while that's boiling, we might start on our other crab. Okay. Hey Christy, happy birthday. We've made you some crab. We boiled up some crab for you. We've got one in there and one in there, ready to go. Dad's gonna drop it off tomorrow. Happy birthday, Christy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, cheers. That one orange? Yep. Well, he's big, isn't he? No, a little bit. You okay? leg. Good on you Harley, proud of you. Thank you. We'll put that back in the fridge. Oh. She, she's going to be happy with that. There we go. Well, she's very good to us as you know. Alright, next. We are going to start with our random crab creation that I don't really know what's going on. Turn these on. Okay, ready, skeddy? All right, so we have heated up our pan. I have lots of oil in here. It might be a little bit hot actually. I'm gonna put the chili flakes, um, onion and garlic in first. I'm gonna start with that. Oh. Again, we are not professionals. I'm just weighing this, so we'll see what happens. Yummy, that looks good. See? Mm. So I put lots of oil in when I cook onion and garlic so it doesn't burn. It makes it nice and soft. Don't know what the technical word of that is. Mum, do you know what the technical word of that is? Transparent. Transparent, that's see-through. We don't want it see-through, we want it soft. What's the word for that? Soft and see-through, transparent. <laughs> I think mum's had a few per <laughs> So that's all cooked now. I think what we might do is put the did we vote lemongrass in then cream? Is that what we voted? Beer. Oh, sorry. Lemongrass and then beer. Okay. I'm gonna crunch this a little bit. So we're gonna put the lemongrass down and then the beer. Salt. Yep. Tisha's got no problem opening the beer, has she? <laughs> I reckon. I've never cooked with beer before. Yes, we have. I haven't. Oh, well, we've done one video with beer. Alright. But the Vietnamese cook everything with beer. I mean, that looks pretty good. Don't know what it's going to taste amazing. like, but at least it looks good. It smells good. It's not Fijian. It's not Fijian, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit, let it warm up, um, and then we'll put our cream in. Is that right, mummy? You put the crab in first, and then the cream. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh. 
So this is simmering away here, but I feel like we need a little bit more liquid um, for the amount of crab that we have. So what I'm actually going to do is use this, um, I guess, broth. Stock. Stock broth, what we cooked the um, other crabs in. Um, so it's got all the juices from the other crabs um, and the salt. So I'm actually just going to put a little bit of that in here. I reckon that'll be pretty good. All right, we're ready to put our crabs in. That is simmering away. So we're just gonna pop our crabs in. Yeah. Place them around. Yum. Beautiful. It smells good. It's very juicy. And then we're gonna throw all of our juices in there and our fats, yummy. Good? Yeah. You happy? Yeah, I'm just gonna move that around, make sure everything is sitting in there nicely. And we'll come back to you in about 10 minutes, let you know how it's going. All right, let's put some herbs in. We have got basil here. I'm just gonna rip that up. Just ripping it off, taking it off the stem. Wow. Probably use most of this and then save a little bit for the end. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Yes, I think we're going to put some coriander. Looks good. Mm. What else have we got? Got a bit of dill. Don't know. Let's put a bit in, see what happens. What can go wrong? Yum. Cool. Good? Yep. Let's Ready? leave that for a couple of minutes. Okay. I've just put a little bit of chicken stock in here for a bit of flavour. I'm just mixing that up. And then. We're just going to add the cream in now. Try and do it this way. That's good. Cool. And we're just going to leave that for a couple of minutes and then we'll be all done. Yum. So this is the end result. Um, gonna have a try now see how it goes please don't criticize me too much it was a throw together and we'll just see if we like it or not when we eat it <laughs> um, we'll just probably eat it with some rice put the crab on get a spoon put heaps of juices on top of it and I think it'll be pretty good so if you like that let us know please So I've just dished it up here on some rice, got a big spoon, tip the juices in there. Um, crab on top, it smells good. I think it's gonna taste pretty good. Um, so if you guys like this, please like, subscribe, let us know what you think. Um, and it's good to be back and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.